Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color, and this is the reading for the Fall Solstice 2022 for the Collective. Okay. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I am going to be doing readings for all 12 signs. I'm starting with the Collective first. Sometimes I do it the opposite. Um, And uh, if you become a member, you can watch the um, uh, solstice, solstice reading organized. I have no script. But organized by sign uh, without commercials. That's for members. For everybody else, it's with commercials. Membership is two ninety nine a month. Please become a member. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Okay. Uh, I offer private readings. The information is below. They're on sale. I have beautiful handmade textiles. Uh, all the information is below. This is my website, ripecover.com. Okay. Um, I have a little bit of sun, very little. But I, you know, I have a schedule to do. <laughs> so I think that's actually part of the message. Part of the message is like, well, you know, oh, I'm going to wait for everything to be perfect, to move forward, to do what I need to do. It's like, no, if you need to move forward, you need to move forward. You know, if you got to go to work or school or to go see your friend and it's raining, then, you know, deal with the rain, take an umbrella, a little bit like that. It's, I think, see, what I'm getting is there's this whole thing of choice going on. And for months and for years, really, I've been talking about choice and how important it is. The other thing I've been talking about how is how anything can happen anywhere in the world at any time. That's the world we live in. So, you know, the choice is, am I going to look at it with dread? Am I going to look at like, oh, you know, the economy, oh, the political situation, oh, or am I going to look at it like, this is a new opportunity? So I feel it really feel like we're all on the precipice of that. Really all on the precipice of that. And, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, overall, I'm pretty much an optimistic reader. <clears throat> and so if that's not your thing, then, you know, you probably shouldn't watch this video. It's as simple as that. If you want a pessimistic reader, then there are plenty out there. You know, if you want someone who's going to read like, oh, this is the love of your life, then you could do that too. Okay. <laughs> How's that for a little sassiness? All right, we begin with really excellent cards. I have the Fool, and the Fool is the beginning of a journey, so it's starting something new. It's the zero, so the zero is this energy of uh, completion and um, a seed, and this energy of um, everything exists in the zero, so anything can happen. So, it, you know, it's like the, um, it's, like, it's almost pre- uh, uh, big bang and uh, for me that the fool is unborn the fool is uh, not yet incarnated into the earth plane so anything is possible right it's like a decision that we make to come here and to live whatever lives we live and um this there are opportunities i feel in the middle of one's life in the middle of one's situation in the middle of a anything right uh, an experiment in the middle of a relationship a job or that it's like i can decide to see things in a in a new way i can decide to see things um i can take a risk i can uh be optimistic i can be open he's very open to like what happens he's completely open and then I have the Nine of Pentacles, which is really lovely. So the Nine of Pentacles is really the card of the entrepreneur. Um, she made her money on her own. It wasn't her father's money. It wasn't her husband's money. She made her own money. And now she's living a life of luxury and a life of gratitude and a life of um, kind of being in this state of, um, there's a certain amount of isolation in this card right? So it's it's this energy of keeping one's energy to oneself, of like 
not sharing everything, not letting everyone know everything about you or not taking in what she doesn't want to take in because she's living in this lovely garden and it's like she's not going to introduce a plant that is um you know that takes over the other plants she's not going to introduce a, a wild animal into her garden you know um she you know she it's her decision it's her decision about what she wants to um bring into her life and what she wants to experience right and that's her abundance her abundance is choices coming talking about choices we get the card of libra the card really of the equinox in a way and this is really about bringing things into balance it's about there's an energy also in the justice card of Allowing things to be as they are and knowing that they're going to work out and, and knowing that they're going to work out to the, to the greatest benefit of all without you having to do anything, like without you having, it's like you took the action, you did what you needed to do, you went to court, you hired the lawyer, and now you have to let go. Now you have to let go. And, you know, sometimes the judgment ends up in our favor or not in our favor. And it's like, it's like there's a higher justice being um, given. I don't know. I had another word, but I, I lost it. Yeah, it's time to let go of the burden. It's time, you know, anything that's burdening you, anything that's overwhelming to you, anything that's like, oh, I've been I'm working on it. It's time to let go of the burden. You know, and be at home with oneself and be at home with one's body and be at home with one's soul and be at home with one's heart because that's where the stability is. The stability is on the inside. So, you know, the energy I feel is is this is this choice as to whether to live from the from the inside out. So in the inside, you're experiencing um you make a choice to experience something lovely and kind and generous and joyful and abundant and uh, grateful and clear, right? And then send that out into the universe. Or the choice could be, you know, taking in all the stuff that's on the outside and like, you know, bringing it in and then trying to figure that out, which could be really overwhelming, especially, it's not just so that, that the world is so chaotic, um, because the world is always chaotic, you know? Uh, even in good times, the world is chaotic. It, it's chaotic and calm at the same time. It's like a feather. <laughs> um, it, it's a matter of where am I living from? Am I coming from my heart? Am I coming from my soul? Am I coming from my light? Or am I taking in all this stuff? And I, what I was going to say is with you know, with this, you get to scroll through and it's like, it's just so overwhelming. Oh my God. You know, it's just overwhelming. Good to take a break. And the time to break, take the break is this fall. Because she's the queen of time. This one's the queen of time. This one's the queen of time. I always get that with her. So like, I, what I always get with her is like, the time is now. Act now. Do now learning new things, opportunities. There are, there are new opportunities. I feel like if you get quiet in yourself and make a choice to be calm and make a choice to be at home with oneself and make a choice to mind your own business in a good way, not in a, not in a you know, mind your own business, really, not in that way, then, you know, new opportunities um, will arise. Lots of new opportunities that are really clear. I also get with this card, you see these little birds, pay attention to the omens. So I, um, uh, you know, I'm really big on omens. <laughs> I really am. And so I was sitting out there the other day and there was a feather, you know, which is sort of an, a, like a, an angel message, right? And it's, it's sort of moving on the ground, sort of like this, it's kind of, right? And then all of a sudden, it makes like a 90 degree turn 
And I mean, you know, I guess there was a breeze, but it wasn't like an overwhelming breeze at all. Um, I mean, there's always like air floating around, right? And the, the, the feather almost started walking. It was so weird. So it was like, it was going this way and then it did this perpendicular. It wasn't parallel. It was really, it was almost like a 90 degree angle. And, you know, I, you know, for me, it was like, okay, it's time to walk on a new path. You know, you're being led on a new path, right? One that you hadn't have thought of because, you know, you're sort of, your, your direction was sort of straight ahead and like all of a sudden you made this like, this right, you were heading north, you're heading east now. It's kind of weird. And um, so I pay attention to all this. And that's what that card's about for me sometimes. Yeah, I think that there are lots of opportunities to really um, be secure in oneself, to have time for oneself, to take care of one's health, to make money. So it's like, oh, well, the economy. So, you know, oh, now that the economy is bad, I'm not going to take any action. I'm not going to move forward because the economy is bad. It's like, okay, great, great. Just sit around and, you know, let it happen to you. Choices. Yeah, the end of a way of thinking. The end of a way of thinking. Really interesting. And the change in finances. This card, all the fives are, are about change. But I always feel like all the fives is really about a perspective because here they are i mean it's a very rich card in terms of iconography here they are <clears throat> and they could be concentrating on i don't have the right things to wear i'm freezing um right they could be concentrating on that and it's easy to do it's very easy to do and then <clears throat> however if they have a different perspective and they look up i always do that with this card it's very exciting here's hope it's like they have soup. They have warm clothes. They, they have warmth. So it's like, well, what am I choosing to concentrate? What am I choosing to concentrate on? Like that's the shift. The real shift is, is a mental, uh, you know, soul shift. And that's the choice. Do I, you know, do I want to look at the world through, um, you know, a dark cloud? Or do I want to look at it through the lens of optimism. It's as simple as that. And that makes the world a difference. And you don't have to settle. I just got the, with this card. You don't have to settle. But it's also, it's another four. So fours are really about stability. And I think the understanding of stability um, really comes from your own optimism your understanding that things are in balance, your understanding that you're living in the garden you created, whatever that garden is. You hear the ding, ding, ding? Um, and then I have two fours. Fours are about stability. And stability um, really stems from one's self, one's sense of self, one sense of oneself in the world, one sense of one spirit. And that's where the abundance is. And that's where the flow is. And that's where the ease is. She has the sense of ease. She has the sense of allowing the garden to grow. She doesn't, you know, she did the watering, like she's just relaxing in the garden, right? And this is also the card of Venus. And, you know, it's this energy of love, of beauty, of creativity, of abundance, really a flow of just allowing things to be and allowing things to grow and, and uh, sitting and enjoying, right? Oh, well, I wish that that butterfly wouldn't be in my garden. Oh, I wish that bee would go away. It's like, no, the bee and the butterfly are part of the garden and they're part of the process and they're part of the flow and you know just observe them just observe them and be grateful and sit in the gratitude and sit in the abundance of it sit in the abundance of one's soul sit in the abundance of um, of this spirit 
uh, you know, and the, and the spirit is you and you are the spirit. That is the energy for the fall. It's really nice. But, you know, it's very easy to go down that dark road. And I have to tell you, when I, when I you know, go to that dark place and I, I see myself going down that road and I see myself, you know, um, heading toward, like, say, a dangerous neighborhood or heading toward a sense of uh, lack or a sense of uh, disappointment or dread, etc. It's like, mm, I think I'm going to go to that store instead. I think I'm going to change avenues. I think uh, I'll go down um, a light-filled alley, so to speak. I mean, you know, you never think an alley is, you know, light-filled, but I think I'm going to, you know, make a turn. I, you know, it's like I see myself going there and it's like, yeah, not today. Not today. So I, I feel like there's this real, because it's Libra, so it's very mental and it's choices. And it, it's it's really this choice about where do I want to see myself in the future? Where do I want to see myself in the now? You know, do I want to see myself as in dread or in ease it's like it's that simple anyway let me show you the cards i'm wearing my fall outfit for you mm -hmm. even though the weather is always the same here uh, a new beginning gain balance this is also emotional stability because it's a four in its cups Dropping the burden of, you know, things that are overwhelming. Being at home and secure in one's own self now. Having a new perspective about money and uh, finances and security and time. Changing your way of thinking. Opportunities abound to make money and to be secure Pay attention to the opens, and this is also Archangel Michael coming in to protect you. So we have two swords here coming in to protect you. Interesting. And uh, this, I always feel like he's the student. So, you know, this student has this ability to learn something new about the physical world, about how to make money, about how to be secure, about the value of time, about his health. And then Our Lady of Abundance, you know, sitting, Venus, third eye open flow, creativity, nourishment. It's a really nice reading, a really nice reading. But it's important to really understand my humble opinion, my humble, my humble opinion, like it all begins with you. It all begins with your outlook and your um, sense of self and your comfort with oneself and one's comfort in oneself. That is what I have for the collective, for the solstice. Very lovely. And I will begin the um, signs very shortly. Blessings.